There's another body fluid people actually are cashing in on. It's blood. And you can donate at not profit, non for profit blood banks. You can give whole blood. Of course, they use your platelets, plasma, white cells, red cells. But did you know there are actually for profit agencies as well? These will pay you to donate plasma, for instance. That plasma will sometimes be used in research or to make even certain medications. Now, every center differs on their compensation structure, but again, people are selling this. And we actually made some calls to see how our staffers, they, they were pretending to maybe want to donate their blood plasma. They found one center that actually, you can donate blood for cash. It pays about $20 for your first donation, $35 for your second donation. You can actually donate twice a week, mm -hmm. which is pretty often. That's, you know, people are gonna say, well, wait a minute, that's $3,700 a year. It's, it's very important you know. to no donate, but I'm a little concerned that, that when, when it's for money, maybe the wrong people are being tempted, meaning right. like they're, they're not in that great of health and they're jeopardizing uh, mm -hmm. themselves by donating blood, especially mm -hmm. if they donate too often, but that is controlled. Well, the reality is every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. More than 44,000 blood donations. They're needed every single day. So there's a need for blood, and we really want to emphasize the need for donating blood. It's not about the price attached. And I think this is something where, you know, no money can be placed on the benefit of saving someone's life by donating your blood. And if you're going to donate blood, you want to be a good donor. First thing, you want to make sure you have a nice, solid, Red blood, oh, red blood cell count. One of the ways to do that, make sure you're getting plenty of iron in your diet. These are iron-rich foods, green leafy vegetables. We know red meat's high in iron, fish, chicken, and legumes as well. And you want to make sure you stay really well hydrated, so drink lots of water. And if you're going to be donating platelets, you want to be sure you haven't been on any aspirin for the last 48 hours.